Hi, Lace from Thailand, retired and living the dream is my channel and thank you for watching. And my channel deals with many things about living in Thailand from house rentals to retirement visas and places to go. I've lived here now in Thailand for 10 years and I know a little bit about living here and my channel is to be informative to those people who are thinking about retirement or moving here to Thailand. Now today's video is going to be about Thailand expats visa problems. There is many people concentrating on getting here into Thailand but once you're here in Thailand you're retired and you got your visa it can be a problem leaving Thailand and getting back into Thailand on the same visa type that you had when you first arrived here. And for example I'm going to deal with a problem that was brought up in the Pattaya Mail with regard to expats wanting to leave Thailand and go visit their home countries and the problems that causes about getting back into Thailand. Now I didn't know anything about this until I was browsing the news today and I found this problem. There's been a, f a couple of solutions to this problem. It's, it's a workaround and I'll get on later in the video about the workaround to this system. And it's not perfect but then again any workaround really isn't perfect. But this is what you can do in the meantime. So let's use the example of somebody on an O visa who wants to go back home to the home country to visit family and friends as the whole world has been sort of shut down for two years or so. Me personally, I haven't been back home now for two and a half years. So there are many people in the same situation wanting to go home, visit family and friends. So this example is somebody on an O visa who wants to go home and visit their family and friends. Now, normally you would go and get a re-entry visa, which is no problem. Whilst you're on your O visa, that permits the visa to carry on being an O visa. And if you didn't get a re-entry permit, then that visa, the minute you leave the country, is null and void. So that's the necessity of getting a, a re-entry permit to be able to leave the country and come back on that same visa situation. But now, coming back into Thailand, you need the re-entry pass. And that re-entry pass, no matter what visa you're coming back to Thailand on, you need the appropriate medical insurance. Now on an O visa you don't need medical insurance to live here in Thailand but if you're coming back into Thailand on a re-entry pass then it is mandatory you need insurance. So therefore you could have been on a normal O visa and normally you come back into Thailand and you don't need any extra insurance. But with this system you need the mandatory insurance of $100,000 worth of cover. The O A visa you need insurance anyway to be able to obtain an OA visa. Now this is available from your home country and you need to show insurance to get the OA visa anyway. Now the O visa, which you can get in Thailand, you don't need insurance. So therefore, for those people who retire and get the O visa in Thailand, you don't need insurance. The STV visa, which only lasts for 270 days, nine months, and then you have to leave the country, Again, you need to show that you've got adequate insurance for the length of your stay here in Thailand. And the last visa we'll be covering here is the tourist visa. Now, the tourist visa, you need to show also that you've got adequate insurance for your stay here in Thailand. So what is the workaround with regard to not having to pay all of this insurance? If you leave Thailand on an O visa, do not get the re-entry permit for when you leave Thailand. So this makes your retirement visa, O visa, null and void with regard to when you come back to Thailand. So you come back to Thailand on the normal tourist visa and let's just say you're going to get it for 30 days so therefore you need to show that you've got insurance for the 30 day period of your tourist visa. So whilst you're here on your 30 day tourist visa you reapply again for your retirement O visa. So depending on what method your O visa was on in the first place with regard to either having 800,000 baht in the bank account or your 65,000 baht a month income method. You either leave the 800,000 baht into the bank when you reapply for your O visa, so then that shows that you've got 800,000 baht in the bank, but you still maintain putting 65,000 baht into your monthly account to prove that you are actually getting a, a monthly income. 
by doing this, it also still shows the immigration department that you are still getting 65,000 baht a month. So it shouldn't really be too much trouble obtaining the O visa again because you're showing that you have 800,000 baht in the bank or you're also showing that you've still got a monthly income method. Now, as I say, this is a workaround. It's, it's not my idea, this workaround. I, I've read it on the, the Patty News and it seems to me make sense whilst this situation is going on. Hopefully the immigration department will do a work around themselves with regard to people that are already living here and want to go home and visit their own countries and then come back to Thailand. Again, this is still early days with regard to Thailand reopening and they're not going to get everything right to start off with. So hopefully the, the scary stories that are going around about people not being able to leave Thailand, coming back and having huge insurance bills to pay It'll be a thing in the past. Give it a month or two months. Let's see the world reopen again. And let's hope that the world settles down and we get back to a normal lifestyle. So I hope this video was helpful. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give it a thumbs down. Subscribe. It'd be nice. And leave your comments down below. So from Les, retired and living the dream in Thailand. Till the next video. Bye for now.